Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a, a laptop, a gaming laptop to repair, which come from a local computer shop, okay? So this is a nice laptop, but give me one second, give me one second. Give me one second. Good. Okay, so we are fine, yeah? So let's have a look. This is a nice MSI laptop. Uh, i7 10 gen and NVIDIA graphics, okay? The problem with this one, this one is that pressing the power button, I can hinge this, this hinge is broken, you can see it. I mean, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it is broken. Huh? Okay, so what's the problem with this one? The, lap the laptop is dead. So yes, they say no power on. You can see on the, on, the, uh, on the label, no power. No power on, yeah. Now, they told me this laptop come without uh, screws. And indeed, here are no screws. So let's try to open and uh, try to fix it, yeah? I mean, I don't want to plug the charger there. Uh... Now, regarding the laptops, like, uh, you know, like this or different laptops, okay, the case is broken, I can see it. Uh, regarding the cleaning, yeah? I mean, it's not hard to clean laptops. And at some point, we made a rule. Uh, we said, you know what, let's give the customer, where I were there, I spoke with the owner, I said, you know what, let's every laptop clean it. And uh, we done it, and you know the problem start appears like okay you scratch my laptop. My laptop wasn't scratched before. Like okay it was full of dirt. That's why you didn't see the scratch. Well yeah, so we stopped cleaning the, the the computers, the laptops, just because of this reason. Yeah, we have so many complaints about scratch laptops after that. Okay, so this is a nice. You can see the battery is disconnected. It's a nice motherboard. What I will do first, before I plug in the charger, is to check if the main power is shorted, yeah? So, let's see. Uh, capacitors. So, we do have capacitors here. Okay, probably it's not that one. It's 36 ohms, that's one. I don't think the main power should have 36 ohms. 1.6 ohm. 1.6 ohms. So here the main power rail is shorted. Uh, what is shorted? Hard to hard to say. You know, hopefully it's a capacitor because if it's a MOSFET, uh, it's bad. You know what I mean. This is a gaming laptop. You know, when you have a shorted MOSFET, it's kind of end of story. Okay, so how are we going to check this laptop? We do have the thermal camera, but we can use it, you know, we can use the method I show you in that video, yeah? You remember the method I show you in the video? If you don't remember, you will see it now, yeah? Which is safe here, so I should promote something like that just because it's safe here. Okay, good. Fan is disconnected. And this fan is disconnected. It's one more screw here. Let's see, this is a lucky customer or not? Wait, here we have... 
the VGA cable. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need it. I should zoom a little bit, yeah. Uh, okay, great. So basically, every every capacitor from here is shorted, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So, what was the method we used last time? Let's switch the power supply to the lowest voltage of this motherboard, which probably is like 0 0.8, 0 0.9 is fine. And let's see, come on with the plus here. Let me lower the current, please. We don't need that much current. Plus, and it's taking 90, uh, 90 milliamps, right? Uh, one amp, sorry, one amp. So shorting the ground, the coil to ground, and it's fine. Okay, shorting the coil to ground, no change, shorting the coil to ground, yeah, so here we have a problem. I mean, you can see the current is going higher, 1.04, and when I take this, it's 1.03. So uh, we have a shorted MOSFET on the GPU side. Hmm? <sighs> That's bad, and it's not very bad. I mean, the laptop can still work with... Uh, can still work with uh, with uh, 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 Intel graphics. Yeah, let's come with the thermal camera and let's see exactly which MOSFET is shorted. Now we know where to look for. Yeah, so the thermal camera is here. Okay, and which one it is? Yeah, you can see the GPU is getting warm, you can see it. And which MOSFET it is? I have no idea. So I can see the GPU is getting hot, clearly, yeah. But I have no idea which, which MOSFET it is. Uh, we can do it. I mean, I can short back the coils to ground, and we can we can pump more current, but I cannot hold uh, I cannot hold uh, the thermal camera. So that's the downside. Yeah. So let's try to raise the current a little bit. Good. Let's see if we can spot anything. Is the middle MOSFET okay? Now let's remove that MOSFET. Let's remove it. Is this one? Lol, don't tell me it's not a MOSFET, it's actually a chip. It's actually a chip there, you know, like all in one driver. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one, it's all in one. I can't believe. Okay, let's remove it quickly.
Yeah, the board is sucking the heat. So we re we remove the we remove the driver. It is like you know all in one stuff. Now let's check for short. So the short is gone. Yeah, the short is gone. What did I told you? It's the middle one. I told you. I told you it's the middle one. So now if we are checking for short, nothing, no short. Uh, yeah, we don't have the driver. We don't have it. Let's test it. Let's see how is the... Uh, how it's everything else apart from that one should work the GPU should work with uh, only two MOSFETs of course not loaded full but I just want to see if the GPU is still good I really doubt the GPU is still good but we can check I mean we can check Okay, let's put three screws. All good, yeah? Let's plug the... What should we plug? Should we plug the battery, right? Yeah, let's plug the battery. Let's power on the laptop. Power on is doing nothing. Let me plug the charger. So the charger plugged in, good, and now let's press the power button. The fan is spinning, it was spinning. Yeah, one fan is spinning, one not. We have picture, we have picture, I can't believe. And the laptop looks like it's working, looks like. And the problem is I cannot test the I cannot test the GPU and also it's nothing what you can do. I mean if the GPU is working it's fine. Yeah, I can replace that chip. If the GPU is dead, it's nothing what you can do. Just to give the customer the laptop like that and uh, you know explain him that's all what is left to do with the laptop, like web browsing. And maybe light gaming, like very light. Hmm. Yeah. So whatever graphics you see right now on the screen uh, is from the Intel. Yeah. These are switching graphics. So in the moment you load the Intel uh, graphics, on some point it will switch to Nvidia. Hmm. Okay. So uh, you know I will stop now because. Uh, this it will be a painful process. I will not order that chip before I'm sure the GPU is still good. Really doubt because this is a big charger. But I have to be sure the NVIDIA GPU is good before I order that chip. And uh, and if it's good, yeah, I will order the chip. Okay. Just a short video about, uh, you know, diagnose a gaming laptop.
But on the other on the other uh, hand, we kind of fix it. I mean, it still can be used. We can still ask for some money, even if the GPU is dead. But yeah. Oh yeah, the hinge. Okay. Okay, so I'll stop now. You know, just you know, have in mind how you diagnose these kind of problems. And if you have a even if you have a dead GPU, you will still have picture, yeah? So don't get confused about that. Also, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And see you on the next one. Bye.